Hi everyone, in this video we will learn the analog to digital conversion in the microcontroller. We will learn how the microcontroller convert the analog value to the digital value. So the conversion is based on this equation uh, which is, the, which is uh, D, the digital equivalent value is equal to VI, the analog voltage, analog input. Uh, over VR, the reference voltage of the ADC multiplied by 2 power of N where N is the uh, size of the ADC. So to understand this better, let's look at this uh, example. So for example, if we have the analog value V in equal to 2 volt. So based on the equation D, so we want to find the uh, digital equivalent to this 2 volt in analog. So D equal to VI over VR multiplied by 2 power of N. And let's for example our digit, uh, ADC is 8 bit. And uh, V reference is 5 volt. So we will have digital equivalent D equal to VI. 2 volt over uh, 5 volt multiplied by 2 power of 8 which is equal to this one is equal to 256 so we will have 102.4 okay so in digital this is uh, approximately equal to 102 and uh, in digital is 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 8 bit. So again, if we have an 8 bit ADC, 8 bit ADC, the size is 8 bit, and we are is equal to 5 volt. This means we can represent the analog value from 0 volt to 5 volt into Two power of n, which is two power of eight, which is equal to two five six digital re representation. So we can have zero 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 to represent zero volt until one 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 to represent five volt. Now, what is the value for digital value 1 and digital value 2 and so on until all 1s? So, 1 will represent what analog value, 2 will represent what analog value. So, to get this, we need to go back to the equation where is d equal to vi over vr multiplied by 2 power of n so now we want to find vi so we need to rearrange this equation so we will have vi equal to d multiplied by vr over 2 power of n so in this case our d is 1 so we have 1 multiplied by 5 volt over 2 5 6 so this is 0 0.0195 and approximately 0.02 volt. This means 1 in digital is 0.02 volt. 2 in digital is 0.04 volt. 3 in digital will be 0.06 volt means that the step size of our ADC is 0.02 volt right or or each bit equivalent to 0.02 volt so now if we draw the relation of the analog value to the digital value like this so this is digital and this is this is analog value and this is for the 
8 bit ADC. So we will have 0 0.02 volt here, 0 0.04, 0 0.06, and so on. And uh, let's this. So we have digital 1, digital 2, digital 3. So this is the step size where we have 0.02 volt and between this also 0.02 volt. Now for example we have another ADC with this size is 10 bit. So if we draw the relation between the digital and analog input And this is the same digital and we eat. So what is the step size now? So the step size will be uh, 5 which is our VR over 2 power of n 2 power of 10 which is 5 over 1 0 2 4 which is uh, which approximately 0.005 foot that's mean our step size now is 0.005 here is 0.01 and so on so for digital equivalent This will be 1 and this will be 2. Okay. So we will see the difference between the two in terms of step size or the resolution. So we can see that the ADC with 10 bit in size will have more digital value to represent the end up value which means it is better as compared to the smaller ADC so we can see that the bigger the ADC the better the uh, result because a uh, uh, bigger ADC can represent more analog value for example this 10 bit ADC can represent up to 1024 one, detail value for 8 bit we can only represent up to 256 detail values and back to this 8 bit ADC what if the analog value is uh, for example 0 0.013 volt so there is no digital value that can represent it, this value, right? So this is called quantization error. And for an ADC, half of the step size, and in this case is 0.01 volt, is called the greatest quantization error. And for the 10 bit ADC, the greatest quantization error is equal to 0 0.005 divided by 2, which is equal to 0 0.0025 volt. So we can say that the smaller the greatest quantization error, the better the ADC. All right, let's go back to the slide. The ADC is 8 bit size and the reference voltage is 3.3 volt, which is equivalent to our microcontroller. Uh, and let's say the analog input is 
two volt by using the equation so we can have the digital equivalent of 1 5 5 and when we convert to digital so we have this uh, binary value 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 now if our ADC is 10 bit size by using the same equation so we will have the digital equivalent of 6 to 0 and when we convert to binary we can have 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 so this is another example where the ADC is 3 bit size and if 3 bit so uh, the digital values that we can represent uh, the analog value is uh, 8 values from 0, 0, 0 to 1111 and this is the step, step size of this ADC uh, and half of this step size is the greatest quantization error so for example if VR is equal to 7 volt so digital 1 will represent 1 volt in analog and 1 0 will represent uh, 2 volt in analog and the greatest quantization error will be 0 0.5 volt our microcontroller the LPC1678 uh, has a built-in uh, ADC and the size is 12 bit which is quite good and for some analog signal uh, such as uh, audio signal so the sample frequency is very important the sampling frequency is uh, simply uh, how many times we convert the analog value to digital value in one second for this kind of signal we need to make sure that the sampling frequency is uh, sufficient such that the uh, information is preserved now to understand the concept better let's look at this example so for example we have the analog signal where this is T V and our analog signal is a simple sine wave and let's for example our sampling period is T and this is T so we will have something like this every T time we read the analog value and convert to digital so we will have something like this and if we look at the sample signal so this uh, quite represent the original signal quite well but let's for example we uh, reduce the sampling uh, frequency or we increase T And see what happened so now let's uh, for example our T is a little bit uh, greater so we have something like this like this like this this and this now let's see right so we starting to lose the information now let's increase t further now t is here for example so we have there is t and uh, we have t here we have T here, we have T here. So 
so now we lost more information so to make sure that enough information is preserved the Nyquist sampling criterion state that the sampling frequency must be at least double that of the higher signal frequency for example the human auditory system is known to extend up to approximately 20 20 kilohertz so the standard audio cds are sample and playback at 44.1 kilohertz in order to meet the Nyquist sampling criterion so we can see that this is uh, more than double the original frequency and if the sampling criterion is not satisfied then a phenomenon called aliasing will occur so this is what we call aliasing where we see the original signal is here and this is the sample period and we will see that when the sample period is big like this so the reconstructed signal is totally different from the original signal and this is called aliasing all right so that will be the theory part of the adc in the microcontroller for the example of using uh, analog input in the embed for this example reading the uh, analog uh, temperature and uh, display on the led so please refer back to the previous uh, lecture video all right thanks for now goodbye